YouTube. Today, we're continuing to use the Ambipom Drapion team. If you do enjoy the videos, be sure to leave a like down below, leave a comment down below. It really does help me out. And if you want to check out the details of the team, you can always check them out with the pastebin available in the description down below. But otherwise, let's get started and play some games. All right. Kecleon again, really? Rotom Heat, Cradley, Dragonite, Mamoswine, and Milotic. So, got some pretty interesting threats here. Kecleon does get access to Trick Room, but I'm not sure if. Well, yeah, now that I remember that it gets access to Trick Room, yeah. I'm uh, not sure if it really complements anything other than Cradley. Does it get Surf too? I'm actually kind of curious about this. This team's really slow for the most part, though. Their team is pretty slow for the most part. I kind of want to try out the Ami Palm Plus. Drapion here, yeah. So I'm gonna try out Ambipom plus Drapion because I think it could be really fun here. And then I'm thinking, uh, I'd probably bring Brelum Arcanine. R Rotom Wash seems really tempting, but the thing about Rotom that makes it a little bit complicated in this matchup is the Cradley because Cradley does get access to Storm Drain, it will draw my Hydro Pumps away. I'm pretty sure you always bring Cradley in this matchup. So we're gonna see Mousewine Kecleon, yeah. This is the scary lead, but. I do have a few things that can uh, deal with it potentially. So we are going to lead our Ambipom plus our Drapion right here. I'm going to go for a fake out into the Mammal Swine. And I'm going to try to Sword Stance here. Yeah, let's see how this works. I know Kecleon gets access to fake out. I don't know if it's going to go for fake out immediately. I want to see if the Mammal Swine is slower than my Drapion or not, which is pretty big, I think. Okay, so we do trade fake outs here. Let's see. Life Orb Kecleon. Okay. Drapion slower, okay. Hmm. I wonder if Night Slash can guarantee the knockout here. Because I can fling my Drapion and go for the Night Slash and get a guaranteed crit with Sniper. I kind of like that idea if I set it up. So we're going to see Sucker Punch. Oh, don't crit my Ambipom. Okay, we're good. Cool. So I'm able to get a fling off. This is the Lance and Barry into the Drapion. So we are guaranteed to get the focus energy. And with the scope lens, we're always guaranteed to crit. And then we can get a Night Slash off with the sniper. Always guaranteed to crit the Mammal Swine. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is fun. Okay, goodbye, Mammal Swine. Really nice there. So fake out Sucker Punch on Kecleon. Hmm. What's coming out next? Dragonite? Uh, E Speed should be fine to deal with. I have low sweep. I'm going to go for a low sweep into the Dragonite. And what does more? Cross Poison or Night Slash? They do the same thing, I guess. Cross Poison can. Let's see. Cross Poison is probably better here. I do need to get rid of Dragonite because Dragonite is a huge threat. Like, it's actually a huge threat. So. Yeah, we're going to go for the cross poison here. If it's inner focus, that'd be beautiful because the KO would be nice. But, ooh, okay. Break a multi-scale with low speed. We lower its speed. So, Drapion's guaranteed to outspeed this. And then cross poison into, into the Dragonite. Not a knockout, but really good damage. I'll take it. Dragonite? Oh, that's so fine. That's so fine. The low sweep here just ne negated that speed, which is really huge. Okay. Drain Punch. Into Drapion? No, into Ambipom. Okay, Ambipom goes down, but that's fine. I wonder if Dragonite East we can knock me out of this range. Should I go Arcanine here? I think I always go Arcanine because A, it's fast. Yeah, Arcanine's always a play here anyway. It's faster than the Drapion. It gets an Intimidate into Kecleon. Yeah, so I might as well just go hard into Arcanine here because Extreme Speed plus Sucker Punch might be able to knock me out, but let's see if it's multi skill or not. It is multi skill Dragonite. That's really good to know. Okay. So multi-scale Dragonite, which means Flare Blitz should KO. Up. Oh wait, no, I don't have Flare Blitz. I have Heat Wave. I thought it was Flare Blitz for some reason. I think I actually go hard into Breloom here. And I guess I protect. Because you're not going to Dragon Dance again. If you Dragon Dance again, you're crazy. I think you're actually crazy. That's such a risky play. And the Dragonite's about to go down here. So I would not risk that. I think you're going to like target down my Drapion slot because it is a threat. We're going to see the Rotom come out. Okay. Rotom, he comes out. Is it Scarf? Scarf could be annoying. We'll find out, I guess. Protect you. Outrage. Okay, we're good. So I wonder how fast the Rotom is. I'm going to spore the Rotom here. And I'm just going to go for a cross poison into the Dragonite. We'll find out how fast the Rotom is, I guess. Oh, it's Scarf Rotom. 
Oh, it tricks me instead of overheating. What? <laughs> it's flame warp trick. Why not just run Wisp at that point? What? Why? Wait, why? <laughs> There's a move called Will O' Wisp. It's, a, it's you can go for multiple burns. Okay. So Drapion's gonna get burned. Oh, you know what had been a fun strat? It's something used in Nuzlocke. It's called pre-sleep. What I do is what I could have done was sport a Drapion's. No, it actually doesn't matter there. It only worked at Bre Wait, no, Brelum is slower than Drapion. So I could have sport a Drapion. And then a Drapion wouldn't have taken the burn. And then if Drapion ever wakes up, I get another attack off that is not burned. <laughs> but yeah, that's not going to work here. I mean, I'm going to go back into Arcanine for the Intimidate. And I'm going to cross poison the uh, Rotom. Great. I don't have, I have a 50% chance to crit the Rotom now, which is fine. So we'll go into Arcanine for the Intimidating the Kecleon. We also want to conserve the Brelum because Mock Punch is probably going to be the way we clean up the Rotom end game. And it also probably will knock out the Kecleon after some chip. Fake out going to come out into the Brelum. Okay. So yeah. All we need, Drapion, a few crits. Gonna do some hefty damage. Also, that Rotom's pretty fast. I think that's Timid Max Speed Rotom because that's the only way you outspeed my Drapion. Well, not Timid Max, but you need to be like near max. Nice crit, 50%. Okay. We can go for Snarl here and the Cross Poison. I guess that was risky if the Dry Knight had dual wing beats, huh? Is dual wing beats an actual move in this game? I actually can't remember. But yeah, we're gonna Snarl here. We're gonna go for a Cross Poison. Not really seeing any reason why. Because really only the Rotom's a big threat. Once I get rid of Rotom, Brelum should be able to clean it up late game. And then Bre unless the Kecleon has something like Flamethrower that can burn me or Fire Blast. I know it gets access to Flamethrower, so maybe that could be a thing. But here comes a Cross Poison and a Rotom. Able to eliminate because we keep getting the crits. 50% chance because they stole our Scope Lens earlier. But easy. Drain Punch going to come out from the Kecleon into our Drapion. That did a lot of damage, actually. Wow. I guess because Protean, but still. Dang. And Life Orb. But that was Intimidated. That's fine. We can go for a Heat Wave. We never risk our Wind Con, which is our Brelum, because Mock Punch is really solid there. Uh, is Cross Poison, because it's a Fighting type currently. But yeah, Drapion ended up putting in a ton of work this game one. Okay. So I wonder if we're going to go into game two, or are we going to see another game just one regular game situation yep <laughs> game two would have been fun too game two would have been fun okay this is an interesting team definitely don't underestimate these kinds of teams though they can definitely mess you up here metacham what's metacham's regular base speed i actually can't remember i think it's 80 yeah i'm pretty sure it's 80 hopefully it's not jolly so drop you on out speeds uh, Frostlass, the Per Ugly, Rampardos, Gliscor, and Empoleon. So, hmm, a lot of interesting picks here. I kind of like Rotom here a lot. Like, Rotom does really well against my opponent's team. So, I think Rotom is something to keep in mind. Rylum, potentially, my opponent's team is pretty slow. Arcanine doesn't seem amazing because of Defiance. Because there are two potential Defiant users. And I don't think the Intimidate is like super helpful here. So I want to say... Togekiss? Do I want to bring it? It's the question. It's not bad. But the thing is, I do get threatened quite a bit by my opponent's team. I think it's like Ambipom lead. I kind of want to lead Ambipom. And I think... Um, Ambipom Breloom again? Or Ambipom Rotom here? Because Rotom's really solid against my opponent's team. But I want something that's faster than Medicham. So maybe it's a Drapion lead. Or the Brelum. Brelum's just safe with the Sash. I do kind of like Brelum a lot here. And I can always low sweep the Metacham if it goes wrong. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think the Ambipom is putting so much work with low sweep. It's absolutely incredible. Let's see here. We're going to see the Glide score plus the Per Ugly lead. Not what I expect at all. Not what I expect at all. Okay. So. Oh, wait. Glide score gets dual wing beats. This is kind of awkward. Okay. You get dual wing beats. I'm going to go for a fake out into the or ugly slot. And I'm just going to go hard into Rotom. Because I'm not risking dual wing beats turn one. I could fake out Spore. But also like the fact that Per Ugly does get access to fake out. Means that's not exactly that great here. So yeah. Bring out the Rotom. I'm going to fake out the or ugly. That does so much damage. Does Low Sweep just KO? 
short stance. Okay, that's not too bad. Because Gliscor doesn't have the highest base attack, and I could just slow sweep into Hydro Pump, probably KO it. It is the Toxic Orb set. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to low sweep Hydro Pump. I guess the question is, what slot do I want to low sweep? Because Technician Fake Out did so much that I think low sweep might get the KO, but if I risk that on the Define, that's really bad. I think I just fling Hydro Pump here. Thing is, do you U turn out? I think it's fine if you U turn out. I just don't know if they protect or not. And they don't. Okay, cool. So I get a low sweep off and a glide score. This should allow me to outspeed Rotom. And unless this glide score is super sped death, Hydro Pump should KO. I completely forgot to this thing. Wait. Yeah, it does get Hypnosis. And knock off. Okay, that's fine. I didn't need my Lance and Barry this game, so that's okay. I just needed to slow down on Gliscor, so this isn't that bad. Because I think Low Sweep can knock out the Perugly, and I go for Hydro Pump here into Gliscor once again. This isn't too bad of a situation, I suppose. But I really need the Hydro Pump uh, to land eventually, because this is my only good answer to this. Low Sweep does KO the Perugly, though, because it shows how frail... Oh, it's a crit. I don't know. Might have been a roll. Especially based off that fake out damage from earlier. Rotom stays asleep. Not ideal. Okay. Knock off into Rotom to get rid of Citrus. Yeah. Doesn't even do that much, actually. Okay. Oh, let's see, let's see what's coming out here. Might be the Frost that's coming out. Knock off. I wonder if this is three attack sword stance. Metacham comes out. Okay, this thing gets fake out. I am very scared of Metacham. I'm going to double protect here and then low sweep the following turn. They have sub, they have sub, and I can't really do much about it. I need Rotom to wake up this turn, though, probably, right? Because if Rotom doesn't wake up, it just goes down, and I can't do anything. That's uh, that's unfortunate, but I don't have another play, I think. So, let's see. Protect the Ambi Palm. Come on, Rotom. Sleepy, sleepy washing machine. How does a washing machine go to sleep? Okay. Rotom goes down. This is looking really bad now. Hmm. I could hope for no dual wing beats. I can't go Drapion. Drapion's so bad here. I have to go Brelum. I have to low sweep to and bullet seed the Metacham slot. Yeah, this is not looking good, unfortunately, perspective wise, because Rotom was the only answer, and I completely forgot that Perugly got Hydro. I don't know what the play is to play around Perugly. I guess I have to sack Drapion to the Hypnosis. But yeah, I was just expecting like a fake out potentially turn one where I guess we don't know if we saw that. And then the OK, we get three hits on this. Get rid of it. OK. If you had dual wing beats, I had to hope for a miss. Cross poison. Oh, right. It has cross poison. Don't poison me. OK. Maybe there's a shot. I don't know what Pokemon this is. The Rampardos. This goes down to Mock Punch. I don't know if they're going <laughs> to... I don't know if the Gliscor has Protect. That's the thing. I really don't know if this has Protect. I go for Protect. I guess I go for Double Protect and I scout if the Gliscor wants to go for Earthquake. Self Earthquake here. Because that would be nice. So we Double Protect here. Let's see what they're going to opt for. Gonna be head smash into the Brelum. There's Scarf. Cross Poison. If you don't want to EQ, Bok Punch probably knocks out you. I'm gonna go out into you. Okay, I think I have an out here. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. So they don't want to EQ their slot. I'm pretty sure Mock Punch can just knock out here to Empardos. And then afterward... Oh, it doesn't knock out. Oh, that's a lucky avoid. Okay. That's a good lucky avoid. All right. Although I don't know if that's actually game winning. It can be, I guess. I mean, if Head Smash Recoil just knocked out the Rampardos, then yeah, that would have been huge. But I'm not sure. I'm just going to protect Mock Punch. This really comes down to Gliscor moveset, I think. Because I got the KO on you. Please Earthquake here. Please Earthquake here. Because you know I'm KOing the Rampardos with Mock Punch. Please Earthquake. Perfect. Okay. It gives me a shot because I can fake out Sword Sense this upcoming turn. And the Gliscor has taken ship. Unfortunately, now this is where the knockoff came in handy earlier because now I don't have my Lance and Barry. So I can't get a guaranteed crit. So 
Drapion, you're going to have to A. I don't even know if this is going to work. I need A, a crit into the Glyce score after the sword stance. And I need it to KO. <laughs> Which is a tall order because this is a Glyce score. So fake out into you. That actually did some decent chip. I'll have decent chip. Here comes the sword stance. And sniper Drapion saved this game. Because if we are able to, that would be huge. But I just don't know. We go for the night slash always. We go for the low sweep. And let's see. Come on. Come on, Drapion. Come on. Show me. Show me the KO right here. Low sweep into the glide score. It's just chip. It's just chip at the end of the day. All we need is a night slash. Big night slash, big KOs. That's all you need. Get the crit. Get the crit. It's too easy, Drapion. Come in clutch. Oh, that could have been awful. <laughs> Got the three turns on Rotom. They landed the Hypnosis into the three turn sleep. Okay, this is an interesting team. Hariyama, Kangaskhan, the Gengar, Latias, Brel, uh, not Brelum, Azumarill, and Tyranitar. Drapion doesn't seem that bad. It's pretty good against Gengar. It's decent against Azumarill and the Latias. Now, the only problem is if they lead Gengar, I'm actually a little bit concerned. I'm also a little bit worried about that Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan's actually kind of a threat. Hmm. I'm actually thinking of opening up Ambipalm plus Brelum because it seems really good for like fake out into Spore immediately. And I really do like that option. So yeah, I'm going to lead that, I think. And then in the back... For this game, I'd probably go Drapion for sure. And I'm thinking Rotom Wash or Togekiss. I think Togekiss because it's a... I think Follow Me is pretty solid in this matchup. And I don't think they bring Gengar. I guess they could, but I just don't really see it. I think Drapion puts on so much offensive pressure against my opponent's team. Rotom's only good for Tyranitar, which I feel like I have enough answers to if I play right. Especially with the fighting type leads that I have. I think it's got Latias leads. Okay. So that's fine. I actually really don't mind that. Uh, so I'm going to fake out the Latias turn one and I'm going to go for a... Yeah, I go for fake out in the Latias. I click fake out in the Latias because Kang can have inner focus in this game. And I protect here because this is probably just last resort stuff. So I just fake out here and protect to preserve the Sash. If they go Tyranitar, I mean, that doesn't really change my plan. I'll just go for like a low sweep spore into the Kangaskhan the next turn I guess so let's find out what they're gonna do here because next turn I think I can go for like a low sweep into the Latias and a spore in the Latias and then afterward I think I low sweep mock punch the Kang and potentially pick up the knockout so we'll see if that works out exactly because I do want to set up my Drapion so fake out gonna come out in the Latias which should put guaranteed range of Night Slash which is really good fake out into Brelin perfect okay I low sweep the Latias and Spore is my safest play here unless the latias protects here which i don't really see it i think it's always a double target here because i doubt there's expecting the low sweep at all they could go tyranitar in last resort i guess that's also another possibility because that does i mean if low sweep knocks out tyranitar that'd be really funny but we're gonna see the king is gonna swap oh is this tyranitar ariyama okay that's fine or is this latias protecting because this is like a latias protect i think Oh, that's actually perfect. Okay, I got a low sweep off into the Latias, and I get Spore off. That's huge. Why did they go hard Hariyama? Are they Lumberry Hariyama? Because I could have spored that slot. I guess so I can't spore this upcoming turn, which is fine. And yeah, like, this is fine. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if I could go hard into... Drapion and Togekiss here, which doesn't seem bad at all. I don't think it's bad at all. Yeah, I think I'm going to go Togekiss for sure. The question is, do I want to stay around with Brelum? Which I actually, I kind of want to go hard Drapion because I kind of want offensive momentum, I think. Yeah, I'm going to keep up the offensive momentum, I think. If they close combat my Brelum because they have faint, really good play, but... I think that's fine. I mean, it just means Drapion doesn't get to put in work in this video, which would be unfortunate, but let's see. Bring out the Drapion. Let's see. Fake out just comes out in the Brelum slot. Perfect. Okay. Nice. And Latias stays asleep. Good. 
Okay, really good turn. Really good turn. I get to keep uh, Ambi Palm for low sweep pressure, which is really nice. I get to go for a Dazzling Gleam here. Should get some really solid chip off. And I think Cross Poison knocks out the Hariyama, and I definitely want to go for the double up here. Hariyama's not exactly the bulkiest Pokemon out there, so... Well, a punch. Ooh, I forgot they could run that. It doesn't do that much. Get a Cross Poison off. I guess if Latias wakes up, it's a bit annoying. Aye! Nice crit, Rapion. High crit rate is putting in work. Uh, Dazzling Gleam going to come out, do a lot of damage to Latias, which is really nice. Okay, and pick up the knock on Hari. Perfect. And Latias wakes up, okay. As for Ice Beam, double up the kiss. That's perfectly okay. At this point, I'll definitely take it. So Togus goes down, but I mean, that's absolutely fine. I can go out in a Brelum here, because if they go Kang, I can go for a Spore and a Latias. Yeah, like I don't see, and I could double up the Latias slot here. They go Kang, which is completely fine. Uh, do I, uh, or do I Spore? Hmm, I could Spore either slot, realistically. I might want the damage on Kang. I could have also went hard. Well, I don't know what ability this Kang is. So that's not really the best play. I think my play here is to spore the Latias here. And I think just Night Slash double up. Or Cross Poison. It's probably Cross Poison. Yeah. I think that's fine. They go for Fake Out into Drapion because they expected the Brelum to protect. Beautiful. So I'm able to get a free Spore off into the Latias. Okay, this is really good. Because now I can get multiple turns of sleep against them. I get Spore to King Slot in this turn. And as long as they're not Lumberry, I should be fine. Yeah, like this is looking really solid here. If they wake up with the Latias, I think that's... Uh, that could get a little bit awkward, I guess. But that they have to double Brelum in order to do that. Let's see if they do that. So... Oh, Brelum's faster than the Kang? What? Okay. I was not expecting that. That's huge. That's huge. Okay. And Latias stays asleep. That's huge. Yeah, that's really good for me. Okay, cool. So I can go for a Mock Punch. Mock Punch 2 at KOs the Kang. And I can go for the Cross Poison into the Latias slot. Okay. The Kang's slow. Which I'm surprised. Probably bulky, but still gets two shot by Mock Punch. Beautiful. And Cross Poison will finish off the Latias. So what's the last Pokemon? Last Pokemon is going to be interesting here. What's nice is Drapion's faster than Kang too. Yeah, we are able to get another sleep turn into Kang. Beautiful. That's best case scenario because I keep my sash around. Ectoplasm. Oh, it was Gengar. Oh, I could have actually... Ah, could I have lost this? I mean, if they protect on my fling, yeah, that's actually really bad. But yeah, now we should be able to mock Punch to Kang. We should be able to go for a Night Slash here into the... Uh, into the Gengar. I guess technically Cross Poison didn't cover for the Gengar, but I don't think they were risking it on a Night Slash anyway. Mach Punch just knock out the Kang. Beautiful. And what does Gengar go for? Because, what, Dazzling Gleam? Sludge Bomb. Okay, into Brelum. Okay. Poison? If there's no Poison, probably a loss of the game. Nice. Night Slash comes out. Are you Focus Ash on you? You are. Okay. It doesn't matter if they get the Cursed Body here because I have Cross Poison as a finisher. I guess I always play for... I thought I was play for... No, I just Bullet Seed here, right? I Bullet Seed and... I guess I Cross Poison. I'm just worried if they Dazzling Gleam crit my Drapion. They have to have it, I guess. I'm, I just Cross Poison here. I think it's like super unlikely that happens. They go for the Brelum Knockout, which is fine because... Yeah, they couldn't beat the Drapion. Okay, really solid game one right here. If this is a game one, we are able to pick up the knock on Gengar. We learned some huge information though. The fact that the Kang is slower than my Drapion makes this a really big potential setup game for Drapion next, next game, which seems huge for me. So I really do like that as an option. Now let's see. And that is the show. Drapion putting in a good amount of work. I mean, I love Drapion. I think his design is really cool. I think it's a really cool Pokemon. It just hasn't been the best, I think, in competitive play, but it's been absolutely fun. The sniper crit chance, I think, is amazing. I have the Ambipom Fling Lansenberry that we were able to pull off. I really do love the Sword Stance as well, in case I can't always get up the Lansenberry. So it still does a lot of damage threatening. It still has a decent shot to always get that crit. But if you did enjoy the build, be sure to leave a like down below, leave a comment down below.
does help me out. You can go check out the details of the team with the pacement and bonus Christian down below. And why not check out my other BDSP battles where I use some really cool teams. My series 11 content, which is the official VGC format and series 12 is coming up. So I will be posting plenty of content for that. But thank you all for tuning in. Have a great day, people. And until we bow again, I'll catch y'all later.